Concentrated solutions. If you stop by the freezer section at the market, you can pick up a can of orange juice. But be careful. If you defrost it and try to drink the orange juice straight from the can, you'll be in for a shock. The orange juice is thick and strong. That's because it contains orange juice concentrate. Most of the water has been removed. The juice is too concentrated to drink. Orange juice straight out of the orange is a solution. Water is the solvent. The, at the orange juice factory, the orange juice is heated. Water particles leave the solution, but orange juice particles don't. The orange juice particles are still evenly distributed in the water, but there is less water. As a result, the orange juice particles get closer together because there are fewer water particles between them. Here's how it works. Here is a pot of orange juice. There are 100 water particles, blue, and 25 orange juice particles, orange. A representation of an orange juice pot. The pot of juice is slowly heated. Water particles begin to evaporate. Water particles evaporate when juice is heated. When 75 water particles have evaporated, the orange juice looks like this. The pot of orange juice after most of the water has evaporated. Look at the pots before and after evaporation. What is the same? What is different? Here is a comparison between the pot of orange juice before and after, evapor after heating. Both pots contain solutions made of the same materials, water particles and orange juice particles. Both pots also have the same number of orange juice particles. The important difference is the amount of water. The fresh juice in pot A has 100 water particles. The evaporated juice in pot B has only 25 water particles. The orange juice in pot B is more concentrated. That means if you scoop up 100 milliliters of concentrated solution from pot B, it will contain more orange juice particles than 100 milliliters of solution from pot A. You can also think of concentration as the ratio of water particles to orange juice particles. There are four times as many water particles as orange juice particles in pot A. The ratio of water to orange juice is 4 to 1. In math, that is written 4 to 1. In pot B, there are 25 water particles and 25 orange juice particles. The ratio of water to orange juice is 1 to 1. There is only one water particle for each orange juice particle in pot, pot B. So that solution is more concentrated than the solution in pot A. Pot A has four water particles for each orange juice particle. Comparing concentrations. If you have two different solutions made with the same materials such as salt and water, you can often use a balance to figure out which one is more concentrated. Here's how. Measure equal volumes of solution X and solution Y. Weigh them. The sample with the greater mass is more concentrated. It's just that sample. How does that work? Particles have mass. Salt particles have mass and water particles have mass. There's the, the important thing, but here's the important thing. Each salt particle has more mass than each water particle. When salt particles go into solution, they take up space. They push some water particles out of the way. When you take a volume of a concentrated solution, there are more heavy, heavy salt particles in it than there are in an equal volume of a dilute salt solution. So when you compare equal volumes of the two salt solutions, one will have more mass because it has more salt particles, and the one with more salt particles is more concentrated. Thinking about concentration. Which solution on page 30 is more concentrated? Solution X 
or solution y. Look at the four salt solutions below, A, B, C, and D. Put them in order from most concentrated to most dilute. 